Man, the very moment my stickman lips graze the tip of that sweet, sweet Zaza, it's wraps for all the food in the fridge. And as soon as that THC tickles my brain, it's GG's. The food in my closet is already consumed, bruh. And shit, when I run out of food in the crib, I give my condolences to the local McDonald's workers. Because, man, I'm about to have those motherfuckers working overtime. Now, listen, man. Shout out to all my big homies out there. But I'm going to make it clear real quick that I am not one of y'all. In fact, I make sure that I am precisely 64 pixels wide at all times. However, I will say mentally and in my heart, I am a little bit of an EDP 445. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I like food. What I was trying to say is that I like food, and uh, usually I can resist food, but once that devil's lettuce gets a hold of my brain, I become a certified fat ass. I'm talking 750 pixels wide at least. I'm eating anything in sight, and as soon as I run out of food, I go to a new site and eat everything in sight again. And honestly, this shit is becoming a problem, bro. No shit, buddy. Your arteries are clogging. Yeah, yeah. And your blood pressure is through the roof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that too. And you're developing type 7 diabetes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. type 7? I, I thought there was only two types. There was, until your fat ass decided to eat 87 ice cream sandwiches. How the fuck do you stomach 87 ice cream sandwiches? Anyways, man, the munchies are lit, bro, because it's the only time you can truly taste each individual atom as it hits your tongue. Like, eating some good food while high is like a meditation, bro. Like, when you're zooted, munching on some Doritos, and you start closing your eyes, shit, you might just fuck around and become the Dorito. Now, this happens to me on a routinely basis, and as heavenly as that experience is... I must warn you, when you come out of your Dorito coma, you will be at least five bags deep in that motherfucker, and your hands may never be the same. Man, I'm still trying to recover to this day. Yeah, my Doritos still taste like fingers, bro. And if staining my fingers orange and developing a new type of diabetes sounds bad, my munchies addiction gets worse, bro. Because when you combine the zooted desire for food with the distorted judgment of the baked brain, shit, that's the perfect equation to put me in the crippling debt. Especially back in the day, because as a youngin', the only thing I was cooking was my brain cells, bro. So that meant I had to buy food. And to put it into simpleton terms, well... <sighs> I was broke as shit. I remember one hot sunny day, me and the boys were chilling at a carnival with some of our other boys, and one of those boys whips out his dat pen. And so of course everyone flocks around that dude and chiefs the fuck out of his dat pen, and 15 minutes later, that shit hit. But you know what hit even harder? The goddamn munchies. And so there I was, walking around the carnival, absolutely blasted with $50 to my name, looking for something to eat. And don't get me wrong, the carnival had lots of options, but they were really taxing out here. And for a dude with 50 bones to his name, I needed to find the most bang for my buck. And there I saw it. It, it was beautiful. A pink ice cream truck glistening in the summer sun. So you know I had to hop in line. And as I'm waiting in this line, the dude in front of me turns around and he's like, damn, bro, <laughs> you look high as giraffe balls, dude. What? Uh, me? Nah, nah, what? Me? No. Hey, hey, don't worry, dude. <laughs> I am too. Oh, shit. So me and my newfound homie are just chopping it up, talking about how sensational this ice cream is about to be, and soon enough, it was the homie's turn to order. Yo, dude, le let me borrow one of those cookie dough ice cream cones. All righty, here you go. That'll be 12 bucks. $12, bro, that, that's like half my net worth. Trust me, it's worth it, dude. Yo, let me get a, a, a cookie, cookie, a cookie cone. All right, cookies and cream, here you go. And as I licked that thing, man, that shit was sensational as fuck. But as I turned around, I seen the baked homie step into a pothole and absolutely fumble his ice cream cone. And I'm not gonna lie. That was some of the saddest shit I ever seen. So I go walk over to give him some of mine. Hey, man, you, you want some cookies and cream? Oh, shit. Thank you, man. Bro, did you just drop both of our $12 ice cream cones? Fuck. Then we were back in line like nothing ever happened. But man, waiting in that sun, my mouth was parched and my eyes were dry. And by the time we made it to the end of the line, I was looking like dried up SpongeBob, bro. Hey, it's you again. Can I get the, the cookie cone? The 
cookie cone, the cream, the one with the cream. Yeah. And at last, after dropping half my net worth on ice cream, I took a big bite of that ice cream cone and man, I felt every sugar granule, every atom, every proton and electron contained within that bite. And for the time being, the munchies were cured.